Oh. Hello. Hello. Are you going to say hello to everyone? Because it... All right. Chill out. You smell nice. Like blue breeze. He said, hello guys. <laughs> Say hello. No? Okay. He like injected me. Okay. Okay, oh my god, don't scratch me again. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Ole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I bronze and contour my face. I have been asked to do this video a few times now. I've got a very round kind of chubby face and I feel like when I've done my makeup, it looks a little bit more chiseled and defined. So if you want to see how to chisel and define a round or chubby face, then keep on watching. So today's video is going to be purely focusing on the highlighting and contouring aspects of my makeup. I'm not really going to delve into foundations and lashes and all of that kind of stuff. All of that will be done off camera. I've done quite a few overall um, makeup kind of videos, um, but today's video is purely focusing on the highlighting and contouring because that's what has been requested. So with that being said, I'm I'm gonna hop off camera and do the rest of my makeup and then I will come back to you for all of the highlighting and bronzing. He was a boy, she was a girl. He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy. Skater boy rocking on MTV. Okay, so I have done all of my base makeup, so my primer, my foundation, my eyebrows, my lashes and my gloss. So all that is left to do on my face now is all of my bronzing, blushing and highlighting. I only have four products that I use for all of my kind of face powders. Okay, so to start off with, for bronzing, I like to use the PS My Perfect Color Foundation Pressed Powder. Obviously, this is from Primark. Now, I wear shade Cinnamon. Okay, so this is shade Cinnamon. I'm just having a look at the color of this, and I think it might even be a little bit light. But this one is from Primark. This is the Bronze Glow. Um, Primark Matte Bronzing Powder. And this one is in shade Sunset, which is a little bit deeper than the other one, which was Cinnamon. So we're gonna go with this one today just so that I get a nice contrast. I'm gonna need to open it because this is a fresh one. The blush that I'm using today is this MUA Matte Blusher. This one is in shade Rough Punch. So this is a really nice color because it's quite pink, but it's more of a muted pink. It's not like a really bright, rosy, fluorescent pink, which sometimes I do like, but when I've got a tan on, I prefer kind of more of a muted, dusty blush and I believe this one is a pound as well sometimes they even have these on sale for like 50 or 60 pence so super cheap and they last a really long time okay and then the last two products that I like to use for my face powders are both highlighters now the first one is from Primark this is the PS summer storm highlighter and this one is in shade breeze this is three pound fifty which once again absolutely a steal like so cheap you wouldn't be able to pick up a good highlighter anywhere else for that kind of money you can see it's got a really gorgeous shimmer to it and it's in kind of a gold and pinky tone and it's really nice because it blends super easy so I like to use this as like a base highlight and then I go in with a stronger one on top just to intensify okay and then my secondary highlighter that I like to use is this one just here now if you've watched my channel for any amount of time you will know that I absolutely love 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 this highlighter it's honestly my go-to this is the technique mega glow quad highlighter I will have um, the links for all of this stuff down below as well this is honestly such a
This is honestly such an amazing highlighter. I think it's four pounds. Um, I had this one sent to me, so I'm not 100% sure, but I believe when I checked on the website that this is four pounds. Now, the reason I love this is obviously you do get four colors. However, it is the most blinding highlighter I've ever used. That's the reason why I don't use this one all over my face. I just use this one to add a little bit here and there in very, very precise areas because it is just so blinding that if I put it everywhere, it's just a little bit much. Okay, so this is all four products I will be using in today's video. In total, they come to less than £10. So I think when I added it all up, I believe they come to about £9.50 for all four, which is obviously an amazing deal. So obviously, I've got my base done with my foundation and stuff. Um, the most important important thing I would say when you're working with powder products is to have a powder base already. So I've applied my foundation and then I've gone on top of that with this which is just the loose powder from Revolution. This is in shade Banana. They do literally so many shades of this so don't worry they will have a shade for you. This is honestly really really great. It lasts a super super long time um, and because it's loose it's very easy just to dust it all over your face and just buff off all the excess. Basically you want your face to be really really dry when you apply these products and even if your face feels kind of dry and cakey that's absolutely fine because afterwards we are going to go in with a setting spray which just melts everything together and makes your face feel a little bit more normal again. But I find when working with powder products in order to blend them properly and nothing get kind of patchy and, and gross you need it to be like a dry base. For bronzer I'm going to be taking an angled fluffy brush. With bronzing I like to start from the top and work my way down so we're going to start with applying it to the forehead if you've got quite a small forehead I probably would skip this step because this kind of reduces the size of your forehead I've got an absolute like 17 head we are going to be applying plenty to the forehead so I like to start in the middle and I just start to buff across to the sides adding a little bit more as I go I am going to start looking in my mirror so that I can see what I'm doing And then I like to just blend it down my forehead with the leftover product. Okay, so you want it to be looking something like this if you are going to do the forehead. And then I'm going to take some more product on the same brush and just tap it off. And we're going to start on the cheek. Now a massive mistake that I made for like a really long time with cheek contour was going too low. Now I've always gone underneath my cheekbone. That's not actually what you want to do. So everyone has got cheekbones. What you want to do is suck your face in like this. Now, I've always applied under the cheekbone. That's not how you want to do it. What you want to do is apply onto the cheekbone. Okay, so you want it to look something along the lines of this. So you can see that I've applied onto the cheekbone. This here where I'm tapping is my cheekbone. So I've applied onto that and below. You don't want to apply above at all, but you do want it to be on the cheekbone and below. You don't want it to be too far below. So I'm probably going to clean this up slightly with some powder and a sponge. So once again, just going in in the same place onto the cheekbone and bringing it forward and up. Um, a lot of people say that you should start forward and bring it back. Personally, I don't like to do that because I find it makes the front a little bit mucky. Um, but whatever works for you, I would say it's a little bit of trial and error. You might need to just try a few things and then edit them. Um, but this is how I found it works best for me. for me is always to clean it up a little bit just because I like it to look a little bit sharper. Um, you don't have to do this. This is completely up to you. It just depends what kind of look you're going for. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that loose powder and my sponge and then I'm just going to create a really sharp line underneath my contour, usually starting about halfway up my ear. 
and then we're going to do the same on the other side now this is really important you need to make sure this is really well balanced because if you get this wonky it's going to look awful now some people like to leave this on for ages and then like dust it off i tend to just dust mine off straight away so to do that i'm just going to use a big powder brush and i'm literally just gonna brush it forward and off and do you see how much that's just sharpened that contour up now once again obviously this is going to look a little bit intense at the moment once the highlight and the blush are on it's going to all kind of come together but i am heavy handed like i love a really full face of glam so if you want something a little bit softer or more natural just do the exact same thing but apply a little bit less like i said i do put a lot on because i really like it to chisel me and i just love to look full kind of glam but it's fully up to you as to how much you want to apply so the next thing i like to do is just give my nose a little bit of a contour so i'm just going to take a tiny bit of this bronzer still with the big brush and i literally just brush down the sides of my nose okay so i literally just apply a very small amount like that and then i'm going to get some more of the bronzer and we're going to go in and do the jaw now i just kind of go crazy with the jaw i don't like do it precisely so the best way i found of doing the jaw is literally like pop your jaw out like this and just go underneath <laughs> so just like so but just pop that jaw out and go underneath and you can see that just gives the effect of more of a jaw so that is everything for the bronzer. The next thing I like to do is blush. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush from Doll Beauty. Once again, I like to kind of just pack it on. I just like a lot. For my blush placement, I like to start here. So almost as if I was going down from the outer corner of the eye. And I start by patting like so so this is almost where you would put your highlight but just a little bit lower always connecting it to the bronzer and i like to bring this one up the temple as well same as i did with the bronzer and then i just start to go in circular motions and bring it forward slightly and i think the blush actually makes more difference than the bronzer by applying your blush up to the cheekbone it actually makes the cheekbone look swollen and larger so if you look at the two sides of my face this side looks a lot healthier a lot more alive and the cheekbone is definitely popping a lot more than this side and the only difference so far is the blush so i'm now going to do the same on the other side just take whatever's left on the blush brush and just pop it under my nose like so I'm not pressing at all literally just swishing the brush back and forth so that is everything for the blush now we're going to move on to highlight so this is where your face really will come to life and everything will start to pop more this is just a smaller version of the one that i use for the blush and i find this one is brilliant for cheeks and it also blends really nice we are going to start right at the high point under the corner of my eye and we're just going to go in really small motions working up towards the temple once the cheeks are done we are going to take some more on the same brush and I just like to do the very highest tip of my nose, just like that. And then I apply some of the highlighter just to the very tip of the brush. And then I'm literally just gonna pop it there and go sideways. And that just kind of creates more of a bridge on the nose. You can also pop a little bit down here like that. And then I just take whatever's left on the brush and I tap the tip of my chin. So this is where things are gonna get intense because once the quad comes out, 
all bets are off. For the quad, I always like to go in with a really, really small brush because if you use a big brush with this, it just gets messy really quick. So my favorite shade is this one here, which is like a champagne white gold kind of color. And the first thing I like to do with this is carve out my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna basically pack a load of this under here. And then I'm gonna take more of that same color, once again, still on the small brush, and I just start to tap over my highlight. Go back in with this brush and just blend over it, just to make sure it's all mixed in. It's just gonna really make it shimmer so much more. The last couple of steps with this really intense highlight, I like to boot a tiny bit on the tip of the nose, and I also like to do my Cupid's bow. I'm literally just packing a load of that same color in on my inner corners and that is how i do all of my highlighting and contouring so the last thing that i would definitely recommend you doing is going over it all with a setting spray that just helps to melt everything together so the setting spray that i'm going to use today is the i heart revolution fixing spray this one is in cookies and cream i've re-bought this one so many times it's my absolute favorite it smells really good i've used quite a few high-end setting sprays to be honest, I don't think setting spray makes your makeup last longer, but I definitely think it helps to melt everything together and just make it all look a lot better. And we're just gonna give it a minute or so to dry down. The brilliant thing about all the setting spray, it melts all your products together, stops your face from feeling like powdery and dry. This is how I create my chiseled, glowing, like highlighty, bronzy face okay so this is the finished look if you do want the links to any of these products i will try and put them all down below in the description box so i will pop a comparison picture here right now <laughs> But that is absolutely everything for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did enjoy watching today's video, please don't forget to leave me a massive like and subscribe down below. If you've got any questions or comments for me regarding today's video, please feel free to leave them all down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account. I'll pop all the details on screen right now and they will also be down below in the description box. And without further ado, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.